Have you ever wondered where are those bikers going? Do they have a destination, or are they just riding around for fun? The answer would be yes. The destination is back home, eventually. Maybe after lunch, maybe after a few nights in campgrounds in Sturgis. Depends on the time and the weather. My wife is ready to ride, though, so I won't get picky on the wear part. She is on her new Honda DN01, and I'm taking the Harley V-Rod today. Our first stop is Interstate Honda to order a part, and then this guy asks where we are eating. Greg is a good friend, and also knowledgeable in all the best places to ride. He asks if we have eaten at Reyes in Galton. Hmm, Galton, Colorado is where again? He says take 85 to Eaton, turn left at McDonald's on 74, otherwise known as Harmony. Okay, let's try it. So we find ourselves in the country. I have to check my map to make sure we didn't pass it. Nope, still east. Please don't let that truck get in the way. Please don't let that truck get in the way. Hey, prayer works. Who knew? I mean, who drives a semi from one side of the house to another, right? Galton started off as a spur of a railroad, but became the town of Gale in 1910, named after Greeley banker and rancher Jesse Gale. Well, nearby, there happened to be a community named Gill. This confused the Amazon drivers of the day, and almost no one got their prime packages the next day. So they had to change Gale to Galeton. Um, here's a Dillard's. Is this the Galeton Mall? Is there a Spencer's gift shop there too? I don't know what that yellow building is, but let's find a spot to turn around and find Reyes Diner. So I have to come clean here. I didn't know any of this history beforehand, but Reyes Diner has a nice page about it on the tables. The Dillard's building, well, this newer building since the old one burned down, has been here since 1939. It really makes you wonder how a Dillard's would target such a small town. Maybe it's not quite the store I think it is. It was a grocery store and a post office until 1995. And that was the last of its kind in Colorado. In the Dillard store now is Ray's Diner. Let's eat. The biscuits and gravy were plentiful, and my wife's meal was delicious and filling also, with the toast not making it in this photo. Forgive her for being camera shy. One thing I love are family diners that are owned locally. Hey guys, today I'm riding with Marshall. We're in Galton, Colorado. It's a small town with a big history though. And uh, I was pointed out to come to this cafe, this diner. This is Reyes Diner. And uh, these people next to me, um, let's see, are we, are we an old fashioned American cafe where you're in a cafe named after the owners? Let me see. This is Rhea. Say hi, hi Rhea. Jesse. And this is Jesse. And they own this diner. This is not a chain diner. The money stays here. And uh, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled every time I find a diner like this to ride to. And uh, the food was excellent. The atmosphere is unique. It is wonderful. Um, anyway, here's a quick view of the place. And thanks, guys, for Thank letting you. me come in here. Thank you. Oh, I have to get your coffee rule sign because <laughs> that's just hilarious right there. $3.50 allows you to go home for lunch and come back for more coffee. See? Here's that coffee sign in case you didn't get a chance to read it. 
So I stepped out of the cafe, the diner, and uh, Rea's diner, and uh, some motorcyclists have already accidentally found the place. And um, what's your name, sir? My name is Alex Smith. And Alex, you are riding a Royal Enfield. I am. It's a 2021 um, Royal Hen Enfield Himalaya. And um, I don't like it as much as the, uh, the Hondas, but uh, it gets the job done and there are plenty available. That's the problem. All these The Hondas are on back order, so... The, At least the price is low. Yes. It's not a this it's was, not a GS. This was a six thousand dollars. <laughs> right. I think. Not twenty six thousand dollars. No. And what's your name? Got, gotta wait for the local trucks to go by. My name is Samuel and I'm just out enjoying the weather and uh, discovering Dillard's here in Gilton. Right. And you are on a Honda CRF two thirty. CRF two thirty L and this is thirteen years old. 13 year old yep. single this cylinder. This is my son. He's 21. Still 230 like cc's, probably under that with the way they advertise them, right? And you're going to blow away the Himalaya, which is 411 <laughs> cc's. <laughs> and we just got a new 300 Honda 300L, but we didn't take it out today. <sighs> One year waiting list, finally got it. And the irony of this is. I was looking at their bike this morning at Interstate Honda, <laughs> going, darn it, they got a bike I probably should have bought. Anyway, guys, um, enjoy the inside. It's, uh, it's as rustic and as old town as, uh, well, as I love. I love old town diners like this. So nice meeting you guys. Nice to meet nice you. Nice meeting you. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. So we stopped next door to get a few photos of what appears to be an auto garage. But it's closed today, despite the open sign. That's the quirks of a small town. Come on, everybody knows they're closed today. Say hi, honey. <laughs> hi, honey. <laughs> and that's Gwen on her DN01, the fully automatic Honda. And today I'm riding this one. You've seen it before. Here it is again. Still with the 10 year old tires on it. We're working on it. We gotta get them on order. What's our next destination? Well, the wind is picking up. So let's head home. The wind was actually so bad, and the GoPro smooths out the action some, that she told me she was screaming in her helmet most of the way home. Well, good thing our comms weren't on. Oh, and that part that we stopped to order earlier? It was the taller windshield for the DN01. It really needs some more wind protection, I'll admit that. Anyway, we had a fine lunch at a place we'd never stopped before met some nice people, and made it home safe. Normally I tell you to keep your chin up in the curves. Now I'm telling you to not tense up in high wind riding. It doesn't help at all. Just relax, relax your shoulders, and trust your tires to stick to the road. We'll see you next time. And if any of you have a great idea for a cafe that I need to go see here in Colorado, or even southern Wyoming, Call it out. Let me know. I love the old mom and pop cafes.